Hello everyone, how are you doing? Here we are at another Rite Aid. Now I suspect this was once a CVS pharmacy also, but it is closed. As we know, Rite Aid filed for bankruptcy. It is closed, it is abandoned. The way judging by the webs in the window seal, this has been closed for now, maybe five or six months. I'm not really too sure when this closed. It does have, we are closed, posted on the windows. So I thought we'd take a quick look around the exterior of it. Maybe we can see what we can see. I don't know how much we'll see in the windows. Who knows? Might turn into a gym. And if you're interested, come walk with me. Here we are, another Rite Aid. And like I said, I suspect this was a CVS pharmacy first. You can see the label scars right here. Lady going through the parking lot. Or oh, man, whatever, watch what I'm doing. Have at it. Some of these windows, we might be able to see through it. Some we might not. I didn't even know this was here until I was riding the bus and I happened to notice it. And there's your sign. Store is closed. And judging by it, I would say this has been, like I said, I think this has been closed about maybe five or six months. I don't know. These windows, I don't know if we'll see in them or not. I don't know. They're, they, they're tinted. That's what I mean by the webs. See, oh, he did get shot right there. You can definitely tell it's been stripped out. And like I said, I think this was another one that was a CVS at one point. I could be wrong. Or a Walgreens. It was a Walgreens or it was a CVS, one of the two. Wellness by Rite Aid. I love the way the building looks. Now, this is a bigger pharmacy. I think this is a little bit bigger than the one I just did the other day. There's where your handicap spots would have been. And like a lot of people said in, the com in my comments, you know, these places like Walgreens, they're another one that's gonna be shutting their doors. CVS, there's another one. Rite Aid. They're so expensive. The, the, the prices they charge, they're outrageous. I went in to get a bag of chips at a Rite Aid one time, and this was a couple months ago. Boy, you can get a bag of chips at Walmart for three bucks. They wanted six something dollars for a bag of just a small bag of chips. Not in the dumpster area. You can definitely tell that's got some age. Look where it's rusting out right there. Here's a look at the back of the building. I 
too much to see back here. It's just their compactor. Ain't really a lot to see. Bunch of trash. Oh, there's a water gun right there. <laughs> and I just walked right into a damn web. Damn it. Ah. Uh, you can already see where the weeds are growing up. Will this ever be repurposed? I don't know. It's definitely an older building. Look at this drive through It's definitely got an older feel to it. Well, there's a good shot right there. Ring the buzzer. Hello, I need to get my prescriptions. Hello. You guys drinking coffee back there? Come on, guys. I need to get my prescriptions. I need my prescriptions. I got a major headache. Hello. Hey, guess ain't nobody working. That's been stripped. It's a shame these buildings are going to sit like this. This one right here, who knows? Will it ever be repurposed? I don't know. As you can see, there's trash right there. This is where they would have come through for the drive through This is Perry's Township. This is another suburb of Canton. Here we go with people just dumping the trash right here. Now, I have a question to all my viewers, to everybody. You know police patrol this area. How is it that somebody can get away with dumping their tires? Looks like a blanket or something. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to touch it. And their bag of trash. And they can just dump it right there in the broad daylight or in the middle of the night and nobody notice. Somebody's got to notice this trash sitting here. Come on, guys. There's a thing called the dumpster. There's a dump. Why just dump it right here? Makes no sense. It's pure laziness. Pure laziness. There's some buckets right here, more trash. This would have been your parking area right here. Here's another look at the front of it. We took a quick look around, see what we could see. Ain't much to see, but it's to preserve the, the history of the building. Who knows, one day they might demolish the building. I don't know. It's just a shame that all these people are losing their jobs. And it's just a shame that a building like this, which is not a look bad looking building at all, is just gonna sit here with nothing being done with it. All because Rite Aid or Walgreens or CVS just won't lower the prices. And they expect people to pay these high prices. Stupid management feels, well, you know, we keep the prices high, people will buy more. Wrong. The higher the prices, the less people are going to show up. That's my take on it. Maybe I'm wrong. If you like what I do, please give me a like button. Hit that like button for me. Please share my channel. You know, please subscribe to me. Please. Don't be afraid to write some comments. From an abandoned Rite Aid to my next abandoned place. Love you guys. Peace. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.